Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wednesday night worship service. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord, for this new season. Hallelujah. You excited? Praise God. I am too. Hallelujah. I am too. I'm so grateful for our elders. Hallelujah. Of course we are. Amen. That's a no duh statement. But as far as, you know, with this whole season that is in our past now, it's dead and gone. Now that we have the new season here, amen, we're using God's wisdom and how to move forward. Hallelujah. And I'm just so excited, praise God, as far as what Holy Spirit has for his church. Amen. Say it with me, church. Agape. Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our God Almighty. Blessed. Amen. Amen. Blessed. I pray that blesses you. Amen. That Father God just looks throughout this whole world and he just sees his light shining through you. Praise God. I pray in Jesus' name that you could see that over yourself, over your whole family. Hallelujah. Over your whole family. Don't limit God. Amen. Don't limit God. I just had this conversation. Don't limit God. Amen. It don't matter how a child is acting. It don't matter what's... You just bless God the way you bless God and allow His holy presence, glory to God, allow His holy presence to rebuke the enemy. Amen? To push evil far, far, far away from you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. All the time. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your anointing. It's all through you, Lord Jesus Christ, and we give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Father. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for your wisdom, for your presence, Father God. That's all we want, Father, for your presence to always be overflowing through your holy church, Open Arms Community Church, and through every soul, Father God, that is grounded, rooted here, Father. May I be so bold to say, Father, that every soul, Father, that has heard your word through our mouth, the Holy Spirit, you have a new child to live through abundantly. And Father, I thank you so much for blessing your holy church, your beloved children. And Father, in every worship service, regardless who is the mouthpiece, you are the teacher, Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, thank you once again for blessing us with your agape overflowing and shining through us. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Father. Thank you so much for having your way. And we want no other way, Father God. All we want is you, Lord Jesus Christ, so that your Holy Spirit in us will be blessed in the overflow. And it's in your precious name we pray. And all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. So this is self-defense class. Woo, hallelujah. Self-defense class. How to be a devil-stomping ninja. <laughs> amen. Praise God. I, didn't have, I don't have my shirt on. I had it on last night for I am recovered. Like I said, I, I'm, I wear it all the time. Praise God. And I'm, I'm just so grateful for it. But this is how to become a devil stomping ninja. Praise God. Now, we never say anything pridefully. Amen. We glorify Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He is perfect. Hallelujah. Is your, is your Lord Jesus Christ perfect? Hallelujah. My Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. Hallelujah. God's word, God's beloved son, his perfect sacrifice, the lamb of God. Amen. We are one body in him. His name is, say with me, church, Lord Jesus Christ. And as we do that, you could already feel Holy Spirit in you just being blessed. Amen. God's being blessed. Hallelujah. And don't you want to just bless God's presence? You see, we don't bless God's presence with what we know. We don't bless God's presence. We don't. We don't bless God's presence and being familiar with him. We don't bless God's presence and just trying to recite things out of memory or trying to act religious or trying to act or be a certain way. God is saying, just be yourself. Amen? Come on, church, help me. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ died for you, died for me the way you are. Amen? And it's in worship as you bless God Almighty, when you just bless the Father, the Creator, hallelujah, God Almighty, He will do a mighty work through you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the anointing of Holy Spirit in you and in me, in Open Arms Community Church, amen? Hallelujah. So let's get right into this, praise God, hallelujah, I'm so excited. We're going to be grounded in 2 Timothy 1.7, amen, 2 Timothy 1.7. 
1.7. Starts off by saying, for the spirit God gave us. I love this picture here because for the spirit God gave us, I could have put many more pictures, but this is what Holy Spirit wanted. He just wanted to show agape, hallelujah. You can see Lord Jesus Christ there, hallelujah. It's above our baptistry in God's beloved church, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And this is God's spirit, amen. Holy Spirit says, I want to show these pictures because Holy Spirit says, you're talking about me. And I said, amen, hallelujah. And then Holy Spirit said, I want to show the picture of the empty tomb. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. It's power. Amen. Amen. We've all experienced that. Is Jesus Christ your Lord? Glory to God. You said yes. Amen. Many of you nodded your head. Jesus Christ is my Lord. You have that resurrection power in you. Hallelujah. Right now as you, uh, right now, right now as you, as, as you watch this, as you breathe, you have that resurrection. Say with me, I am. A beloved child of God. Amen. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid. Glory to God. Now for many of you who have your Bibles, know this scripture. Many, many of us memorize it. Amen. Hallelujah. But glory to God, as you know, you, you, if you're planted here, if you're rooted here in Open Arms Community Church, Hallelujah. The, the word of God is alive in us. Amen. Alive in us. And the way you prove that the word of God is alive in you is your worship unto Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will manifest what the Bible calls in Galatians 5. His fruit. Amen. Say it with me. Fruit. Hallelujah. And right away God is saying, my Holy Spirit that is in you for all of eternity does not make us timid. Amen. So I know many of you already know, glory to God, because Holy Spirit told you, this is what we're going to get into. What does timid mean? And, the, and, and this is the, you just plug it in in Google, throw it up on Google and you'll see, showing a lack of courage or confidence, easily frightened. And an example is, I was too timid to ask for what I wanted. Hmm? Showing a lack of courage or confidence. Easily frightened. Now glory to God, right now there's some of you right now that are a little upset. Amen. And glory to God, just hang in there. Amen. God is head over heels in love with you. You have Jesus Christ as Lord. Holy Spirit is doing a mighty work in all of us right now. Amen. And then there's some of you that says, I know this. Right? I rebuke, I rebuke all this stuff in Jesus' name. I boldly, you know. Plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. I boldly speak out. I am covered by the blood of God. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against me shall. And hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God for that. Amen. But you notice how Holy Spirit is teaching us right now. God wants us making sure that we're all unified as one body in Lord Jesus Christ. Let's not get up in here. Amen. Amen. Let's not get up in here in religion. Oh, I know this scripture. I've heard this sermon before. I've heard another way, another person preach this way. Get rid of all that right now in Jesus' name. All we're going to do right now is worship Lord Jesus Christ and what he demonstrated through the cross and how the anointing of Holy Spirit will change our lives. Amen. Because I will tell you right now, I will tell you right now, as boldly as I possibly can, through the anointing of Holy Spirit, that we are living right now in this fallen world. And I'm going to tell you, this is what the enemy wants to put on children of God to start being timid. Why is Brother Joey getting so loud and carried away with this? For one, it's the anointing of Holy Spirit, the power of God to say, stop. Can you say that with me, church? Stop. Because you know when you start getting consumed and being timid, you start becoming anxious. You start using the word of God as a crutch for anxiety. Oh, well, God gave me wisdom. But you're not actually using the wisdom of Holy Spirit. You're using wisdom from pride to fuel anxiety and worry and being timid. Hmm. God right now is exposing through his anointing and charging his holy church 
And this is what God is saying right now. Do I need to do anything more on the cross? Yes, I know God give us wisdom. Amen? Yes, I know we be submissive, right? Hallelujah. You, you be submissive to Holy Spirit in you, in me, to God Almighty first. Amen? You see, the commandments of Lord Jesus Christ is very simple, but it carries a magnitude. Can I get an amen? When, when Lord Jesus Christ says, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, Amen? It's because Lord Jesus Christ said, if you're truly my follower, if you're truly my believer, if you're truly my child, my spirit, I will live through you. And where my presence is, there will be nothing timid about it. Hallelujah! Amen? Hallelujah! God wants us to boast on Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To be bold and courageous. Amen. Last time I checked, bold and courageous is hallelujah. And God is speaking and anointing over his church right now. Amen. Beloved church family, listen. I am not attacking you. I am encouraging you that we are covered by the blood of God Almighty. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And as your pastor, I'm charging you right now to call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ. To get your oil out. Take the oil in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I anoint myself, my, 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 my spouse, my wife, my husband, my children. Right? Everything. But I will not allow this distraction to come in. Amen? Amen? Remember, this is self-defense class. Hallelujah. You want to be a devil-stomping ninja? <laughs> Praise God. Well, you have Lord Jesus Christ. Guess what? Done. You already are. You know why? It's all Him. Hallelujah. It's all Lord Jesus Christ. And He promised that you will do greater things all because of Lord Jesus Christ. All because of Him. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. That you, say it with me, I, I will do what Holy Spirit says so. Amen. Glory to God. I know who I'm talking to. Praise God. Wednesday night crew. Amen. I know. Hallelujah. But remember, we got to take hold of this thing. Because if you don't take hold of it, it's just going to run around and make a mess out of everything. Right? Amen. And when you take a hold of it, Daddy, this thing got into my thoughts, was speaking things. Forgive me. God, God our Father, you know. You're forgiven, my child. Yes, but I repent. I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry, Father God, that I allowed to get consumed with these thoughts, with this fear. I even used your word to try to use this as an excuse when I feel your conviction in me. Holy Spirit, I surrender to you. I bless you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. So now that we know this, praise God, let's move on. Hallelujah. The spirit God gave us does not make us timid. But, hallelujah, glory to God, big butt up there. But, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Amen. I love this picture here. You guys know where we're headed. So praise God, we're going to just go over this quickly. The power that God demonstrated, he tried his best as God, before Lord Jesus Christ, to continuously have a relationship with his children, right? And for quite some time right now, Holy Spirit's been teaching us and revealing to us, amen? Revealing to us through a relationship with God, our perfect Father. And for the Word of God, right, to come alive, to teach us, to show us, as far as what God did through his power. And of course, the power and anointing of that word is the word became flesh, right? And what Lord Jesus Christ taught us immediately, immediately after he came back from the wilderness, amen? What did he say? Repentance, right? Repent! Talking about the kingdom, 
of heaven. Now, he would say mitanoia, right? In the original text, mitanoia. However, what that truly means is change your mind. Amen? Change your thinking. Hallelujah. Now, see, as a beloved child of God, just like you, when the written word of God, the Holy Bible, amen, say it with me, Holy Bible, teaches us, right, just, just clearly, in Lord Jesus Christ going out, being led by Holy Spirit, to go into the wilderness and to get intimate with God Almighty in worship and for Satan himself to try to tempt him and for Lord Jesus Christ to layeth the smacketh down, right, on Satan and then to come out and tell people, all right, Mitanoia, change your mind, repent. See, these are those moments right now, beloved church family, that I am begging you right now. We have to change our mind. Religion don't work. Can I get an amen? Being religious don't work. Right? And that's exactly what Lord Jesus Christ was preaching. Your perception is wrong. Here I am, I will show you the way. Amen? And this, this way that Lord Jesus Christ showed was the power of what we can do with thoughts. The power over our thoughts. And how he asked us to change our mind was God has my soul for all of eternity. Right? That the very thoughts that we consume in our very character, in our very identity, Lord Jesus Christ was saying, change your mind. Hallelujah, change your mind. Because now I am here, and I'm introducing you to the Father, and I'm going to display the Father's love for you in what I'm going to do. Right? And ultimately, as you know, in what he took on that cross for you and me. Amen? Amen. Did God hold anything back? No. Right? Was coronavirus nailed to that cross? Hallelujah. Right? Amen. I pray in Jesus' name that brings conviction. I really do. Praise God. Because I do not want a child of God to be consumed with fear over this world. We should only fear God Almighty. Amen? You should only fear God Almighty and how much the Father loves you that when you look at Lord Jesus Christ and you're like, oh my goodness, God, you love me so much. Here's Lord Jesus. And then you hear God speak through Lord Jesus Christ, through the anointing of Holy Spirit. Amen. You can see him looking at you eyeball to eyeball and he's saying, all right, change your mind. I'm here. Okay. Right? And the very first thing is God says, I'm going to give you this power to change your mind. Amen? Next. Say with me next. Hallelujah. Love. Amen? The Word of God says God is love. Amen? Now let's be clear on this. Love is not God. Hmm. Some of you are like, what do you say? God is love, but love is not God. Now, Brother Joey, how can that be? Because there's a counterfeit love. Amen? God is love. Love is, say his name. It's right there on the screen. Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, love has a name. Hallelujah, agape has a name. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? The love of the Father, the love of the Son, the love of Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen? Praise God. See, the enemy wants this emotional love to be a God. Right? Say it with me, no more. Amen? And you see what we did with God's love. Tortured, nailed, pierced, crucified. But he did that all because of our sin. Past, present, and future. And glory to God because of this. 
This is his, hallelujah, payment. Say it with me, paid in full, hallelujah. And say this one, self-discipline, praise God, self-discipline. On that glorious third day, when Lord Jesus Christ was risen in glory, hallelujah, the same glory that God promises all his beloved children who freely receive Lord Jesus Christ, and that crucifixion takes place, and that same glory, that anointed Holy Spirit, blesses his beloved child. Amen? Say it with me, I am his. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God loves it when you say that. I am yours, Father God. And in this self-discipline, it is our worship unto God the Father. Amen? We all worship differently. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, that's what makes us his masterpiece. We're all unique. We are all different. Amen? But the glory of God is, is that we all have the same body. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, the same Lord. Amen? The same Agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen? And it's only through Lord Jesus Christ that we're all unified, one, amen, in this anointing in Holy Spirit. And this is our worship, amen? I said anointing, this is the overflow. This is what we call agape manifested in a beloved child of God, amen? And as you know, that Holy Spirit fruit, right, in Galatians 5 talks about, right, Starts with love, amen? Well, we just praise God. We just went over that as far as with the greatest message, amen? The greatest message is faith, hope, and love, right? The greatest of all these is agape, amen? Where is agape? Hallelujah, in you, in me, amen? And I love this because the glory in and through this is that the temple of Holy Spirit, the temple of God, amen? And hallelujah, that is in you and me as a beloved child of God. Amen. So you see the power of God that it was demonstrated all from the beginning of time. He is the Alpha. Amen. The Word of God says He's the Alpha and the Omega. He holds time in His hand. Amen. The great I Am. And God's always demonstrated His power and His mercy. Hallelujah. His power and His mercy. He, he, he showed that to us, but it had to come in the flesh for us. Amen? Being disobedient to see, right? To see agape, to see the word alive, covered in flesh. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And then you see what we did to the love, that word love, amen? All capital letters, the word love, agape. You saw what we did to this love, amen? We all did it. We all did that to Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And then by the grace of God, you see the self-discipline and the glory in and through the temple of Holy Spirit. Say it with me, I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Amen? And I love this overlay that God has blessed us with. And I know we crack up and laugh a lot about it because, you know, it's, it's the silhouette of me, you know, just to throw myself under the bus. Hallelujah. But the glory is, it's just who we are, and the Word of God says so. To say it with me, I am a soul. I am a spirit. I am body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And this is our three-part being, right? This is our three-part being. The Word of God shows clearly, hallelujah, that we have a soul, we have a spirit, and we live in this body. Amen? And you cannot take one and leave the rest, right? It doesn't work that way. Amen? You cannot take my soul, right? Glory to God. My soul is eternal in, in Father God. But you cannot say, I want your soul and leave the rest. I just flat out die, right? The same goes for my spirit. You can't take my spirit, the breath of God, amen? You can't take it because I need that, right? I need the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or you can't just say, you know, I, 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 I want your, your body, right? Well, what about the rest of me? I know these are no dust statements. However, as a child of God, we have to understand the order of God and how he made us in his image. Amen? Let us make man in our image, right? Who is our Father, Son, 
Holy Spirit. Amen? Soul, body, spirit. Hallelujah. And so when we know this, we know that we have the power, what Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated, to repent. We have the power to take thoughts captive, and we don't have to act on those thoughts. Right? When the thoughts come, right? When the thoughts come, when the enemy tries to speak, right? We hold it captive because God give us the power. Amen? And it's through this power that we can rely and trust in agape, in his love. Hallelujah. Who is love? Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And we trust in Lord Jesus Christ. And as you trust in Lord Jesus Christ, glory to God, the anointing within the temple manifests. And this is where the self-discipline comes in hand. Amen? And this is how we glorify God through the temple. Amen? The temple of God. Hallelujah. And see, this is what I love about this self-defense class in what Holy Spirit taught us. Amen? I pray that this blesses you. Hallelujah. This In self-defense, right? I don't know for many of you if you've taken, you know, self-defense classes and all that stuff, but they gradually train you in how to do all these different moves and techniques. And then it gets into, as far as practicing these techniques, through repetition, through consistency, Right? Say that word with me. Consistency. Right? That you, you practice these moves in consistency. Then, all of a sudden, now you have a sparring partner. Correct? And that sparring partner will come, and normally they team you up with somebody in that same, right? In, in, in that same skill set. And it's in that same skill set where you practice your moves. And, it, it, and granted, I know not, not every place is the same. Right? I mean, it, it, it can all be different. Hallelujah. But the glory of God is, is that when we understand that in worship, what blesses God is that when we are completely transparent and we're saying, Father, I am, I'm going through this thing and I'm trying to figure out how to get out of it. I'm trying to find out the answers. I'm trying to, and it's in this moment that I'm actually beating up myself. Because my thoughts are going everywhere. See, right there, God is saying, repent. Use the power of agape. What is that power? Father, I thank you. Oh, Father God, I thank you. Now listen, God knows that, that situation you're going through. He knows every detail. The glory of God is he already done took care of it. He already got you through that season. Amen? Because God's presence goes before us. And hallelujah, when we, when, 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 we, when we stay grounded this way in the word of God and how we speak life and how we worship and say, Father, I thank you so much. Oh, Father, I thank you. Do you notice that when the enemy puts out distractions, what we want to do right away is be quiet. And that right there is the, the, the first sign that repent, right? Father, I thank you for your power. I thank you for your power, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that as I speak, you knew this moment, Father, and I speak life. Hallelujah. See, what is happening as you speak this way, as you speak life, Lord Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, say with me, Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is Lord. You see, once again, we all worship differently. There's some of you that say, I just say, Lord Jesus Christ. There's some of you that say, I just plead the blood. Hallelujah, glory to God, yes. Yes and amen, hallelujah. Because it's when you lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, it's in that perfect love, hallelujah. It's in agape, that self-discipline, hope, anointing, Holy Spirit in you, in me, will start to flood. Amen? His presence will start to overflow. Glory to God. And remember, it's through transparency when you rebuke pride, right? You rebuke religion. You rebuke all these things that makes you want to just put God in a box. And Lord Jesus Christ is saying, no longer. Amen? Allow me to flow and allow my presence to overwhelm you. And Holy Spirit will take care of everything I have charged all my angels over you. The kingdom of heaven is in you. Hallelujah. And my presence will go before you. 
destroying the plots of the enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you receive that tonight? Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. I pray that self-defense class blessed you. Amen. Because I will tell you right now, I will tell you right now, it's easy to get caught up in all the commotion. It's easy, church. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> but what God is asking of us is will you stand firm? Hallelujah. Will you stand firm in the gospel of peace? Amen? Right? It's funny that we can memorize Ephesians 6, but let's apply it. Amen? Stand firm then. How do you stand firm? Right? No. I trust in you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? If the word of God says that by your stripes I am healed, may I ask you, church family, does God lie? Can he? No. It's the truth. Amen? So don't allow the situations or circumstances, don't allow the distractions of the enemy take root. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your word, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, you are our God, and thank you for teaching us. Thank you, Father God, for the conviction. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah for your anointing. And above all, Father, thank you that we are eternally yours, all because of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you that through this self-defense class that you have exposed the enemy, Father, that you've exposed the enemy, Father God, and you deposited a fresh anointing over your beloved church family, Father. We are one body in you, Lord Jesus Christ, and we are your children, Father. And I thank you so much for this anointing, Holy Spirit, that we know to take thoughts captive. Hallelujah. And we know to bless you with our words and to speak life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, that we speak life into the future. Thank you so much, Father God, for going before us. And thank you so much, Father God, for destroying the plots of the enemy. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Hallelujah. And all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Give God praise. Amen. High five. Mm. Praise God. If you're by yourself, give yourself a high five. Don't forget the angels. Amen. The angels love high fives. Praise God. Love you guys so, so much. So excited with what's going on right now. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. God is good. All the time, just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Cannot wait for us to be back together. Praise God. I love you guys so, so much. When you get a chance, please go to oacchurch.com, oacchurch.com. And uh, remember, bless God with your first fruits. Hallelujah. I know you know that. But God told me to just encourage and charge his holy church. Amen. And, and you just cannot give our Heavenly Father. Amen. And I just want to say thank you so much for your life of worship. Thank you so much for all the prayers. And thank you once again for blessing our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Agape! Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Love you. I'll see you soon. Amen. God bless you guys.